2 News at 10. Right now at 10, held at gunpoint and forced to the ground. And then there was two customers that he wanted to tell them to lay down on the floor and get their money as well. What a bold robbery suspect managed to get away with and the message that store owner has for him tonight. And that robbery suspect still on the run tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. Really terrifying moments for those customers. This happened at 1130 this morning on Jensen Drive near Lower Copy. Channel 2's Brendan Walker live at the store tonight with this story you'll see only on 2. Brandon. And Sion and Jonathan, the signs out front this store tell a story too. You can see it is still open after that robbery today. Also, the flag there, grand opening, as in it just opened, as in it's been open for about a month, the owner tells us. And that's why he says he's not playing around with this guy. He wants you to take a look at this video. And we thought he was a regular customer. At first glance, one might think so, but keep watching. You'll see. The employee got up, and then at the same time, he pulled out his gun. No customer here. Rather, a crook with confidence. No mask on. No mask, no concealer, says Ali, owner of tobacco shop on Jensen. Ali asked that we not show his face because the thief who showed his remains at large. Take another look. He walked in Saturday morning around 11.30, pulled out a gun, and got the clerk's attention. Pointed at him, demanding money from the register. Keep watching. You'll see two other customers inside the store. Tell them to lay down on the floor and get their money as well. Ali says the robber demanded cigarettes in a plastic bag, too, along with money from the cash register. Comes at a hefty price tag for the store. He took uh, close to $2,000 worth of parts which was cigarettes and cash from the register. There is relief. Despite the loss, for one, no one was hurt, and Ali says HPD arrived quickly. I want him to be caught. I'm putting up a $1,000 reward. Ali says he'll recoup what's lost, and considering the apparent smoke snatcher didn't mask his mug, the search for him, hopefully, won't go up in smoke. We were just opened up about a month ago, and in one month we got robbed for almost two grand, and this, this is going to be a trend, so I'm going to put out a reward every time to catch these guys. Yeah, the owner unfortunately pointing to the occurrence of these robberies from smoke shops here in our area, and that's why he says he's offering a $1,000 reward for anyone who may offer any information that leads to an arrest of that man you see in the video. You're also asked to give Houston police a phone call, also Crime Stoppers. That number for you tonight, 713-222-TIPS. We're live on the north side tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. New at 10 tonight, an update to a story, Channel 2.